I want to talk for a moment about nice feminists. They come in a variety of flavors, but these are the ones whose goals, although pursued under the banner of feminism, are reasonable and indeed virtuous goals. The decriminalization and normalizing of prostitution, for example. While many people, both inside and outside the men's rights movement, dislike the idea of prostitution, I think it's safe to say that it won't be done away with by keeping it illegal. Criminalization only makes it more dangerous and harmful to everyone involved, both on the provider and the consumer end of the equation. Okay, great. That's nice. And there are other issues. Porn, for example, argued as a legitimate form of performance for gainful employment. Surely it's every woman's right to get naked and be paid to do so, if she chooses. All right, that's essentially the same issue in a different wrapper, and one need not be feminist to support those causes, but you take my point. And in view of that point, when one looks in from outside of the umbrella of feminism, outside the radical camp, outside the liberal camp, outside the I want to be paid for sex camp, surely from outside the various camps, all flying the same flag, the flag of feminism, well, surely it's unkind, unfair, and uncalled for to universally condemn feminism as a monolith, without regard for just which of the 364 flavors we're talking about when we use that endlessly flexible label. Well, for all those who would cry from the rooftops that not all feminists are like that, for those self-labeled feminists who may indeed be pursuing legitimate humanistic goals, I'm going to try to explain, yet again, why I speak ill of the gender ideology known as feminism, and why not a single fuck is given by me as to what subspecies of that ideology you may happen to subscribe to. And if what I'm about to tell you upsets you or makes you feel vilified or put upon, I've got some big girl panties you can borrow. I agree. There are self-described feminists whose goals are legitimate. I agree that decriminalizing matters of personal choice and bodily autonomy are important and worthy goals. And to the extent that I can, I will support and promote those goals, independent of whatever political label you or anyone else pursues them under. However, the humanist, liberal, sex-positive, nice-guy version of feminism you practice, and if I didn't cover your particular flavor, go ahead and add it in. That humanist feminism is not the same ideology taught in university gender studies courses. It is not the feminism which informs the policies of the United Nations aid agencies who render assistance to only women and children, and not to men. That feminism is not the feminism of the leader of the free world, who feels that female dominance in education is equality, and that female dominance in education must be expanded through legislation in order to ensure even greater... uh, (coughs) Um... Equality? Your humanist version of feminism is not the one which specifically excludes male gang rape victims from receiving medical aid, shelter, and rehabilitation in places where male-targeted gang rape are standard practices of war, such as in the Congo. That feminism is not your humanist feminism. Neither is your feminism the version which, in Canada, informs a $20 million charity which produces egregiously and grotesquely misleading ad campaigns designed and guaranteed to acculturate hatred and fear of men in women and to teach girls to always think of themselves as victims first and self-actualized adults never. That's not your humanist feminism either. Your humanist feminism is not the ideology informing almost all domestic violence shelters and public messaging on domestic violence selling a totally false story that domestic violence is evil violent men beating on sweetly innocent and helpless female victims. Which, by the way, aside from continuously demonizing men, is guaranteed to not stop domestic violence since it is working from a totally broken model. And your flavor of feminism is not the one informing a collection of lawyers, social workers, educators, child care specialists, psychologists, community coordinators, and other professionals to collaborate on a blog and cheer for plans to eugenically exterminate the male half of the human race. So yes, nay fault, nay fault, nay fault. 
I understand. Your feminism, with its admirable goals and complete lack of influence in society, comprised of a teeny tiny, unfunded, unorganized minority whose descent is to the vanguard of your movement what a gnat is to a musk ox. Your feminism is true feminism. Sure, it's not the feminism that informs domestic policy, writes advisory papers and reports for the UN, or eradicates due process on college and university campuses. The people who do all that are the other feminism. You know, the feminism that isn't true feminism. The big, funded, established, wealth-bloated, politically powerful version of the ideology. And heck, you don't even talk to those people. You don't even get invited to their parties. But I hate to break it to you, honey. When you pursue your noble humanistic goals under the banner of feminism, even when you prefix it, even when you say liberal feminism or humanist feminism or sex-positive feminism, you're giving cover and support and ballast to those who abandon male rape victims or see men's ever-widening marginalization in education as evidence of equality or openly call for the extermination of men. I'm going to say that again. When you pursue your noble goals under the banner of feminism, even when you prefix it, you are giving cover and support and ballast to every single well-funded and tenured bigot who wears the badge, even those who openly call for the extermination of men. And that's why I don't care what flavor of feminism you practice. You're using the same brand name as murderous eugenics enthusiasts destroy due process sexual apartheid gender ideologues for whom violence isn't just an unpleasant option. Violence, when contemplated against men or male children, is what gets them wet. That's the big, funded, organized, and politically established flavor of the ideology you use the name of. And while I know you're a humanist, you're not murderous and you wouldn't dream of using violence to attain your goals. Well, fuck you. If you self-identify as a feminist, you're flying under the banner of a totalitarian, violent, amoral, murderous ideology of sexual apartheid and hatred. If your goals are legitimate, pursue them. And again, you'll have my total support. But if you fly the flag of hatred and violence, don't expect me to pat you on the head and say... That's okay. I know you're one of the nice ones. Fuck you. Grow up and stop pretending there's no problem using the same flag as those who advocate eugenics and mass murder. Grow up! And thank you for your kind attention.